We continue with our example on 1.2, the textbook we are using. This is the same question we tried to answer in the earlier video, only that in the earlier version we used x, but now we are using k. The, on the right side, you see the formula for k balance. Filling the, filling the numbers, we get this. 0 0.8 is the redistribution ratio. 0 0.44 is k1. 1.25 is k2. And we get 0 0.116, which is the same value if we get from the table. We store the value of k balance on the bottom left side. We proceed to calculate k, the value of k. This is the formula for it. Filling the numbers. 2, 3, 0 is the imposed moment. 10 to the power of 6 is the conversion factor from kilonewton meter to newton millimeter. 2, 6, 0 is the width of the beam. 4, 9, 0 is the depth of the tension steel. 25 is the, is the cylindrical strength of the concrete. The value we get is 0 0.147, which is lesser than 0 0.116, which is the K balance. This tells us that we need compression reinforcements. Now we store the value of K on the bottom left of the screen. The next step is to calculate the compression steel. This is the formula for it. Fill in the numbers. 0 0.147 is the value of K. 0 0.116 is the value of K balance. 25 is the cylindrical strength of the, of the concrete. 260 is the width of the, of the beam. 490 is the depth of the tension steel. 500 is the strength of the steel reinforcements. 50 is the depth of the compression steel. We get a number to be 253 millimeter square, which is different or lesser than the previous answer, which is 256 millimeter square in the previous video. We saw the value of compression steel at the bottom left. The next step is to calculate the level arm, Z balance with, with this formula. Fill in the numbers, only two variables here. 490 is the depth of the tension steel. 0 0.147 is the value of K. We get a number to be, the answer to be 436 millimeters level arm at balance condition. Store the value at the bottom. Calculate the tension steel. Here is the formula. Fill in the numbers. 25 is, is the cylindrical, cylindrical strength. 260 is the width of the beam. 490 is the depth of the tension steel. 500 is the strength of the steel. 436 is the Z balance, which we calculated earlier. 253 is the area of the compression steel we calculated earlier. And we get the answer to be 1207 millimeter square. Compared to previous answer, 1215 millimeter square. So uh, here's a table of comparison when we calculate the value of compression and tension steel. If you use if you use EC2 and start calculating with X in the previous video, we get the answer to the area to be slightly bigger than what we're calculating now. That's all for now. Thank you.